So this is a message to the Sandage Mod team that is uh, creating CM for the Atrix. So I guess uh, while I was creating uh, videos, you guys were uh, releasing a new update. And uh, I guess I'm going to have to do a video on how to install it, I guess, huh? Yeah, thanks. Alright everybody, so welcome back to the Smoking Android. Uh, today we, or at least myself, have noticed that the CM7 team for <clears throat> uh, the Atrix has uh, put out a new update. Uh, and that update is CMBATBA2TF. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> um, anyways, so uh, just in case there's some of you out there that are a bit hesitant to update from whatever version of CM you downloaded, this is kind of more uh, geared towards um, uh, the, the newer flashers, the new users, the new CM7 users that were excited and they finally managed to get CM7 on installed on their phone, but uh, now they're a little freaked out on how to install um, an update. Uh, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and show you two different methods here. Um, <clears throat> the first one is um, downloading it to your computer, uh, pushing it to your SD card, and um, and uh, flashing it from within. So we'll get started here. So first thing you want to do is uh, obviously navigate to the um, uh, XDA developers site. Go to uh, Atrix 4G development, and you can find their official, as you can see there, official, um, thread and uh, so what we'll do is scroll on down all the way down to where it says download and of course here you can see a bit of a change log atrix cm batf release doc audio support now and a bunch of bug fixes as always so that's nice i'm assuming that in this particular um update that uh a lot of people were complaining about the uh, screen dimmer um, being the, the increments being really sort of chunky and choppy so hopefully that's fixed because I have noticed it myself and it's quite bloody annoying so uh, we'll go ahead and click down on the uh, link there and of course if you have your QR uh, can, uh, scanner app on your phone you can go ahead and uh, download it right from uh, from your phone pointing it out there but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna go ahead and download it manually just for the purpose of this video okay so once you have the file downloaded, uh, what we're going to do is locate the file, which we have right here. And uh, as you'll see, it says BA2TF. And uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is plug our phone into USB now. So now that we've got our uh, phone plugged in, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, click and drag the file onto our SD card. And it's just that simple. Okay, and we'll go ahead and unplug the phone. Now, don't forget that uh, you want to have USB debugging enabled. <coughs> okay, so now that that's on our phone, go ahead and come down here. All right, so we'll uh, restart our phone into recovery. Whoa, into recovery. All right, so we are now in recovery, and I am going to go ahead and scroll on down to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, from external, 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 external SD card, and we'll go ahead and locate the uh, file. And we'll go ahead and click that. Go on down to yes, install. And now you'll notice that um, I didn't uh, clear cache or anything like that. And the reason behind that is because I don't want anything to change. If I do happen to notice any differences, I will do a fresh re uh, reinstall, wipe it, and all that stuff. <clears throat> but um, uh, we don't need to do that because it is an existing ROM. We're just basically updating it. So, um, you know, everything should. Uh, stay the same as far as my uh, the home screens go and all that stuff. So now that that's uh, installed, 
all we have to do is click go back and uh, we'll reboot system now all right so uh, we are up and running now now just to keep in mind once you um, do an update or flash a new ROM um, it does take a little while to um, boot up the first time um, so once you get to the uh, spinning cool Cyanage Mod 7 uh, boot anime um, just leave it <laughs> don't freak out it took about uh, five minutes for mine to boot up uh, yours may take longer or um, shorter depending on uh, what you got going on so anyways everything is uh, running all of my um, uh, home screens and widgets and stuff are still there like they were supposed to be as well as all of the uh, apps so we'll go ahead and move on to the next method which is uh, updating with um, ROM managers clockwork mod recovery okay so now we are going to try and install the update with um, ROM manager uh, now, before, previously, uh, with the version of Sanage Mod 7, the, the beta or after beta or whatever it is, see there the um, BN version, um, I wasn't able to uh, check for updates, so we'll go ahead and try and see if that's working now. No, it is not working yet. Okay. Let's see if we can um, do it from download ROM. Sanage Mod 7 Nightlies. No, we still don't want that. Okay. We, what we will do then, I guess, is uh, install from QR code. See if that's possible. Let me just bring up the download site again. And so obviously we've discovered something here today that the uh, uh, check for updates as far as this is, as far as the uh, beta or pre super stable release candidate build uh, is released. Um, it's all not working yet, so we'll go ahead and click that one again and uh, we'll go ahead and um, hold it up here all right so let's see it did something ah it's downloading sweet okay so we've uh, finished downloading it and um, uh, this box pops up in the app. ROM pre-install backup existing ROM, wipe data and cache, um, wipe delvet cache. So I'll go ahead and uh, actually I'm going to unselect wipe delvet cache. Nothing. I don't want anything to be to be wiped. Uh, reboot and install. Press OK to reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery and continue the installation. So what this is going to do is um, reboot me right into Recovery, <clears throat> and um, I believe we will just be uh, installing this the same way we did um, the uh, last way we just did with uh, pushing it to your SD card. All right. Oh, look at that. It's uh, to be completely honest with you guys, this is the first time I've ever updated uh, um, using Clockwork or uh, using ROM Manager. So this is actually uh, really nice and handy that uh, noticing it. So it's just d diving right into it and, and, and installing it. All right, everybody, we're done rebooting, which again took another about five minutes or so. And uh, just to confirm that we have updated to the latest version, go to About Phone, and as you can see, uh, where the hell is it? Uh, ah, down here. <laughs> BA2TF. So uh, we are all up to date now and um, ready to go. So there you go, folks. Thank you very much again for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And um, to everybody else who's been attached uh, to Sanj Mod 7 as much as I have, at least now we have uh, audio doc support. <clears throat> so there we go, people. Uh, yeah, subscribe, comment, give me a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you next time. Smoking Android, signing out.